what are your guys' thoughts on Shrouded Fable as a set? Let me know in the comments right now. We're going to dive into this, and uh, it just came out, and there's some interesting things to talk about. The ETBs have been delayed. I think that's affecting things a little bit, um, but let's just t uh, take a look at some of the singles here, and we're going to talk about the set as a whole, and then we're just going to dive into it. Um, I do think that there are some interesting cards in here, and I'm going to give you guys kind of my overall thoughts uh, kind of a little bit towards the end of the video. But obviously, uh, we'll just jump in with the most valuable card here, the Cassiopeia. And, you know, a lot of the times what happens, if you guys aren't familiar, cards come out of the gate, and they usually uh, they usually tank down in price. Now, this isn't always the case, but usually it is, especially on release, people are overpaying. And this came out at 200 bucks, and it's down to around 120 but we're seeing sales of 109 I do think that for a trainer card that this is cool with the Sylveon in the background, um, but for me, you're not going to catch me paying $100 for this card. Um, it would have to drop down quite a bit for me to be entertaining this, but, um, you know, I think that it is a cool, I like the look of it. You're seeing like all the graphs on the screen and stuff and yeah, it's cool. Just not, not $100 cool for me. Uh, next up, taking second place is uh, Pheasantipity, the SIR here. And, you know, you're going to see this similar chart on a lot of these cards. $94 down to $79, but we're seeing sales of around $75. Um, this, card, this card's cool looking. Um, not the biggest fan of the Pokemon, but still a cool card. Um, this definitely, I don't see this holding in the $70 range for me personally. Um, then the Earthen Vessel. Uh, we're not going to pull up the graph on this one, but they're saying this is around $50, bucks, which is interesting for a gold card. Um then things start to get a little bit more interesting for me. We've got the Okidogi, or Okidogi, Oki Okidogi, right? I'm going to say it. it's got to be Okidogi. Um, but yeah, same chart, right? 46 down to now we're seeing sales around $35. Um, not Also not the biggest fan of this Pokemon. Um, this is one of those sets, just to preface. I kind of lumped this in with um, Temporal, Twilight, and Shrouded Fable. I kind of lumped together as just sets that I didn't really like and I was wrong on Temporal and Twilight and I'm going into this set more open-minded and the more I look at these cards the more they're growing on me right so uh, I do actually like this Okie Dogie um, card and it's starting to it's starting to creep down in price where uh, it's starting to look interesting so um, I'm still going to wait and see where things play out if I was you guys I would be waiting on most of these cards, but there are a few exceptions, and this might be one of them right here. Now, this is the Persian card, and I said this was so. It was this in the Houndoom? Um, if you guys watched my opening, this these were the cards I was chasing. Uh, I opened uh, the Kingdra and Greninja box, and we did not get the Persian, and we did not get the Houndoom. But I did end up with the Houndoom. We'll talk about that uh, when that comes up. But um, so this card came out around 40 and then it peaked up a little bit above 40 and now it's down to 37. Now, depending on pull rates, which I have not seen pull rate data for this set yet, uh, usually TCG player releases that and there's other uh, places that will release that as well. I haven't seen it yet. So it's a smaller set, so it's probably not going to have, uh, even if the pull, the pull rates are hard, we're not going to see super inflated prices. But this is one of those cards that I could see kind of taking off uh, just because of the uniqueness of the design, Gen 1 Pokemon popularity. Um, I could see this doing well. Um, we're going to see where this shakes out. I'm keeping my eye on Persian because this is a card that I want to acquire. But at around $35, bucks, i am going to wait and see where it shakes out. Then we got uh, the Monkey Dory here. Pull up the chart here. And uh, same chart. You're going to see the same thing on most of these, right? This one's just tanking down into the 20s now. Um, what I will say about Shrouded Fable that I do like is it's different with the colors. You'll see there's lots of bright colors, and I think that that's, that's good because it's different. Uh, we, need, we need different uh, artworks in the Pokemon space. Um, so I do, I do give it that. Um, we'll see how low this one goes. Uh, I can picture this one dropping... Um, down to around in the 20s, maybe even sub 20s, depending on what happens. Once again, this is all subject to change. Keep in mind, like I said, the ETBs are delayed. So a lot of, uh, you know, there's not as much product out there at launch being opened as 
usually would be. So uh, keep that in mind. Then we have the Pet Petrant. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Pulled this card though. Um, I did pull this uh, out of my. Uh, I don't remember which box it came out of, but uh, was pretty happy with my openings actually. So this came out um, at around forty bucks. I was seeing sales around forty-five and fifty on eBay uh, when I pulled it, and. I listed it up there just because I was trying to see if I could get that high price, but uh, I wasn't able to. So now I pulled it down, and I'm just I'm just holding on to it. But thirty thirty two dollars, but we're seeing twenty four. So this this card's tanking down uh, pretty quickly, and that's not surprising. But it is a cool card and does look uh, better in person. And all of these cards always look better in person. So uh, this is not you know the card that I'm really looking at, but the Houndoom now at my uh, at a local card show you see this chart's different now this if I had to pick one card from the set this would be the card hands down uh, the Houndoom uh, it's stunning so I traded um, you know at the time let's see yeah it was around uh, $24 when I did the trade um, yeah it was around 20 it says 24 here um yeah so it was on the this last uh saturday and the market price was still around this price uh, when i looked it up or last sale was like 24 maybe a little bit lower um anyways i traded for two like super low-end slabs uh they were just like cgc bulk like i had gotten them for free like pretty much for free in a trade um so i traded those two of those and like I had them valued at like 10 bucks each maybe but I got them pretty much for free and I traded both of those for a Houndoom so uh, pretty happy about that now this is one of those cards that I could see taking off and I could see climbing uh, obviously the charts doing that we'll see long term what this ends up doing but because of the popularity of this Pokemon and I love this artwork I could see this leapfrogging quite a few cards here potentially. Um, now that's not guaranteed, but that's just something that definitely could happen. Um, I think this could be kind of uh, maybe in line with the Eevee card from Twilight, um, but not as rare, obviously, because of the the set size. But um, I could I could see it doing something like that. So I could I could picture this getting up into the forty dollar range, and that would be really interesting, shaking things up. Um, this Dusk Dusknor I do like, and the Duskull. I do like these cards a lot, actually. Um, we'll pull up the charts here on them. We're going to see uh, the Dustinor, actually, bucking the trend, and it's on its way up. Um, I w like I, I was thinking, I would expect this more in the teens, but uh, in the 20s. A uh, little simpler, but I do like the artwork there, and it does it does pair very well with the, uh, the Duskull here uh, on its way down, obviously, on the chart. But um, those are a few good-looking cards. I think this set overall... In the dust clops here, so we got the the whole set here. Um, that this set I think is getting a bad rap, um, just because it, it's kind of a little bit weaker. But I think it's going to be one of those ones that just surprises everyone again. It, it definitely has that potential. Now another card that I think has some more potential, just because of like once again the kind of the color palette and just it's being a little different. While not the most popular Pokemon, the the Monkey Dory here. Um, it's on its way down a little bit, but um, I haven't seen this one in person, but I would wager to bet that it looks pretty nice. Um, that's what I've been seeing with all of these cards is they look nice in person. Um, these gold cards, you know, they're they're not going to do too much for me or this Fezzendipity here. But um, the Horsey, I do think, is another interesting card for me. Gen 1 Pokemon, super adorable. Um then they have the, uh, you know, the Kingdra um, promo, so it kind of, you know, it goes with that. And this is, this chart's a little off here, but um, let's see if we can fix this. Sorry, there we go. Um, so we have 15 bucks down to 13, now back up to 15, and so we're seeing a, a wide uh, variety there. So um, I do think that this card could could have some room to go as well just because it's super adorable um great looking pokemon there then the um after that the only ones that suit like the cresselia is nice i don't think there's any denying that it's a nice looking card um 
So we'll see the same chart here, right? Tanks down to from 19 to 15, but we're seeing $13 sales. Uh, cool looking card. The uh, Zorua definitely, I think, has the potential to be uh, another one that's maybe a little bit of a sleeper. Um, I just, I like the, the style of it, but it's on its way down. This is, this is the typical thing that happens. Um, this Pheasantipity IR, I think, is another good looking card. Um, same thing, just on its way down from 20 to 10. Now we're seeing $7 sales. Um, and that kind of tracks. But uh, the Q font here, and if we jump on page two, I'm not sure how deep this set goes, but there, I think there's a few. Okay, yeah. There is a few on here. We're going to we'll pull them up in a second, but the Q font here, um, I think that this is a great looking card. I kind of um, just, I like elephants in general. I think they're kind of adorable. So uh, I think this is, this, is a, this is a cool card. I don't know. I mean, I don't picture it being super valuable. We're seeing $7 sales, um, but just wanted to point out that that's a nice card that I like from the set. And then um, the Fracture, the Beware, and this Okie Dogie um, are kind of the last ones that really catch my eye, if I'm being completely honest. And same chart on this guy. He's on his way down. Um, $8 we're seeing. I don't know if this is a real sale, but $3. Um, I would be picking this card up at $3 if I could, which... Uh, this is Japanese, Japanese. I hate when they put Japanese on here. Um, but yeah, uh, like this artwork, I do appreciate this card. And then the Beware, um, I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, this, this particular card. Um, I'd probably pass on this one personally, but, um, it's okay. But this card right here, the, this Okie Dogie, um, I do think is a very cool art. Once again, it, it has to do with the colors, we're just getting different color um, patterns, you know, from these Pokemon and from the set. And I think that this card is cool. And 11 bucks down to nine, we're seeing $7 sales. Uh, I'm going to see how low this goes. And this would be another one that I would be just picking up just because I do think that it's cool. But, you know, it's, it's just a little different. And sometimes different is what you need. So um, on that note, I want to tie that back in just a little bit to uh, Twilight and to Temporal. And the reason I didn't like them, uh, Twilight and Temporal specifically, was mainly because they were different. With Temporal um, having the de like the legendary dogs looking different, the alternate, like, it just, for me, initially, I just wasn't digging it. But sometimes being different can set it apart. And, and that is something that we need in the space, so... Um, I do think that Shrouded Fable has potential to be a decent set, and there are some potentially good cards here. Um, like I said, the color palette is the main thing that just stands out to me of the set, and even, I, we don't have the ETBs yet, but the ETBs are just like such a different color than what we normally get. So very interesting, um, interesting set, honestly. And I'll, I'll be interested to see how this performs long term, I'll be keeping an eye on it. Um, it's too early, really like initially for us to make any sort of, you know, definitive judgment on it. Uh, but, you know, just keep an eye on things. Like I said, specifically the Houndoom, um, I think has potential to uh, be moving up those charts. So that would be my pick. I feel like that's the fairly obvious pick, but it is my pick nonetheless. Um, I do have a, a soft spot for that Pokemon. So um, yeah, that's going to kind of do it for this one. I just wanted to, to give a little update on um shrouded fable is it good it might be better than we think that's well that's kind of my final thought is it might be better than we think but i'm gonna hold my judgment for just a little bit longer um definitely definitely don't sleep on it don't sleep on it like some of the other sets that would be my opinion and yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. You made it this far in, you're 14 minutes in. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, of Shrouded Fable as a set. Let me know if you're still waiting on ETBs, uh, if you've been ripping those like collection boxes. Um, but that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.